Hey guys, Chris here from Maven Analytics, and it's time for our next five minute tip. Now for today's tip, we're gonna talk about a lesser known pivot table feature in Excel, which is value grouping. And specifically, we're gonna talk about how to group values using pivot tables to analyze things like numerical distributions. So let's jump into Excel and give it a shot. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the demo data that we're working with. We've got Sydney, Australia house prices. And in column A, we've got a property ID all the way up to about 200,000 properties represented. We've got the sale date, suburb and postal code, the sale price in both Australian and US dollars, and then a few attributes here, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, and the type of property. So this is a great candidate for some quick and dirty exploratory analysis using a pivot table. So let's go ahead and insert a pivot table in a new worksheet. There we go. And typically with this type of data, what you would often do is grab your numerical field, in this case, our sale price, let's use USD. You would drag that into the values pane of your field list, and then you'd segment or filter or sort those values based on different categorical fields or dimensions in your data set. For instance, you might want to break down the sale price by suburb on rows or columns. Uh, in this case, probably makes sense to look at an average instead of a sum. You could right click and format those currencies just to make it a bit more readable, like so. Maybe we want to filter down by property type as well and say, you know what, we don't care about acreage or terrace or villa. We really just want standard homes and townhouses. And that's basically the typical exploratory analysis type of process. And when you think about how you might want to add some grouping to this analysis, you almost always think about grouping in terms of categorical or text fields. Like how could we group these suburbs into larger areas or, or neighborhoods? But in this case, we've got a numerical field with a lot of unique values, right? A lot of unique sale prices. And if I want to understand the distribution of that data, how many properties were sold at different ranges of prices, well, that's a great opportunity to use value grouping. And luckily, pivot tables make that very easy to do. So let's go ahead and grab suburb. We're going to pull that out. And we're actually going to move our USD uh, variable from values into rows. And here you see all of those unique sale price values. It's a very long list, not really usable in its current format. But if I right click, and group, now I get this special value grouping dialog box that allows me to create these bins or groups of values. So let's go ahead and create our starting value at you know, $100,000. You can see we've got some data cleaning that we need to be done here. Uh, let's end it around 5 million. And the buy field here, this is basically the increments, how big our groups or bins are gonna be. Let's do 250,000, press OK, and check this out. Excel automatically created these bins or groups for me, starting with anything less than my minimum, 100,000, and greater than, in this case, 5.1 million here. And the final step here is to understand the count of properties, the count of homes that fall into each of these bins. And to do that, what I'm going to do is grab my property ID, which is a unique indicator for each row or record, pull that into values, and instead of a sum, I want to show the count. And there you have it. So now I'm seeing the actual number of records of home sales that fall into each of these different price ranges. And right off the bat, I can see that most of my sales fall kind of in this range here from 350,000 to just over a million. And if I wanted to take it one step further, I could add a pivot chart here, a column chart. I could customize this a little bit, resize things. And basically, I can format this to look just like a histogram by adjusting the gap width a little bit. And this is a great visual representation of that distribution. You can see most of the properties fall into these three buckets here. Then we've got this long tail to the right uh, with a decent number of high value properties that do fall above our maximum value of 5.1 million. So there you have it, really great way to analyze distributions using value grouping with pivot tables.
All right, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and shoot me a comment down below and make sure to like this video or subscribe to Maven Analytics if you wanna see more of this type of content in the future. So until then, happy learning and I'll see you next time.